Question for you all. What do you do when your space station suddenly starts leaking air? The answer, apparently, is to stick your thumb in it and then fix it with gaffer tape. This guy's Katie Spencer reports now on what seems a very down-to-earth solution. The International Space Station has been struck by space debris. What do I do? It's a heart-pounding scenario that helped turn the film Gravity seven Oscars. But how would this look in reality? Well, meet your real-life space stars. This is the current crew on board the ISS. Three Americans, two Russians and a German, who started the week celebrating a birthday. Okay, let me make a wish. But there was no time for party hats days later when they were told that sensors had detected a pressure drop and the race was on to work out where. NASA keeps control of everything from the ground, so fortunately for the astronauts, they were safe because of that, because they discovered that there was a leak of oxygen. Within 18 days, they would have died, simply because the oxygen would have escaped into space. The tiny two-millimeter micro-fracture was traced to the Russian Soyuz vehicle. Used as recently as June, this was its launch. And this was the moment the capsule docked. The Soyuz hatch now swinging open. Delivering three new crew members to the station. The hole was discovered when astronaut Alexander Gerst ran his finger over it. It was only a touch bigger than the head of a pin. It's thought the damage was caused by a tiny meteoroid strike, an ever-present threat which the ISS has built to withstand as it orbits the Earth. There's a critical area where there are pieces that are too small to be tracked, um, but slightly too large for the shielding to protect from. That's what we're looking at here, but they should be relatively uncommon because space, after all, is quite large. NASA and Russian officials have stressed the six astronauts weren't in any danger. And in lieu of a more long-term solution, for now the team has performed a patch-up job, fixing it with some sealant and a bit of tape. The ultimate bit of bodging out there in the final frontier. Katie Spencer, Sky News. Fantastic stuff.